Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling an intriguing question from a graduate student who is exploring data import methods into SQL Server. They've developed their own program to import data line by line, but they're noticing a significant speed difference compared to standard methods like bulk insert and BCP. So why are bulk operations so much faster? Let's dive into the details and uncover the reasons behind this performance gap. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully you get through that resolution. So, let's continue on. To understand why bulk operations are faster than individual inserts, we need to look at how SQL Server processes these commands. When you use individual insert statements, each command is treated as a separate transaction. This means SQL Server has to log each operation, which adds significant overhead. In contrast, bulk operations like bulk insert or BCP can process multiple rows in a single transaction. This minimizes the logging and reduces the number of disk writes. Additionally, bulk operations can take advantage of optimizations such as minimal logging, which further enhances performance during large data imports. In summary, using bulk operations significantly reduces the overhead associated with logging and transaction management, leading to much faster data imports. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Bulk insert operations are faster than multiple single inserts because they reduce the overhead involved in each insert. When inserting multiple rows at once, the database can optimize tasks like checking constraints and building indices more efficiently. For a deeper understanding, you can find detailed analyses online. One recommended resource compares multiple row inserts to single row inserts, highlighting performance differences. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. Inserting rows one by one isn't efficient. Instead, bulk import is designed for handling large data loads more effectively. Bulk import benefits from optimizations in SQL Server, like page flushing and logging, which speed up the process. For more details on optimizing bulk imports, search for optimizing bulk import performance online. And that's it guys. We've gone through, found the solutions, and hopefully answered your query. If it did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, hope you have a good one. Cheers.